What is up guys this is Karan here welcome back again to Tech Karan YouTube channel Xiaomi EU based on a MIUI 12.3 actually MIUI 12.3 based on Xiaomi EU 20.11.11 .11 is now available for a lot of devices if you have the MIUI 12 support in my case I'm using Redmi Note 9 Pro and MIUI 12.3 by Xiaomi EU is available in the port room but it has all the features of Xiaomi EU 20.11.11 .11, which you might have installed on a device the room comes with very cool kind of features has MIUI 12 supported all the features in include some little bit of new features also and I'm gonna share with you some things and my experiences about Xiaomi U latest build based on MIUI 12 let's find out guys first of all the security patch is updated as you can see first of November security patch is now available and I'm using this Xiaomi U based on Android version 10 and you might have also using Xiaomi U based on Android version 10 which is available as cool kind of thing if you're using Redmi Note 8 you might see that you will not see navigation bar pill and the floating windows options available too but you can use those features I have a video on that one too so you just go and check it out how you can enable these kind of features Xiaomi U has very cool kind of features if you go for the theme store you will see this new same kind of like Chinese theme store but if you go to the my account and go to the theme store you'll be able to apply all the third-party themes without any issues you can apply this theme stores themes or third-party themes as an MTZ file all depends upon your preferences whatever things you like and you love to choose you can choose those it depends upon you like in my case I'm using this theme which is working fine here without any issues you can use the control center or whatever things everything will be themed and the best part is you don't need to reboot your device to apply any third party theme that's a very cool kind of and positive thing about xiaomi eu that you don't need to apply apply you don't need to reboot your device to apply the themes perfectly fully as you can see status bar icons are also changed fonts are also changed everything is changed which means the theme is applied successfully without even rebooting my device that's kind of really great let's find out first of all some changes in this xiaomi eu first of all if you go for the weather application now if you go for this option and if you go for the share option you'll be able to take a screenshot automatically and you'll be able to save to your gallery or you can also share wherever you want to which is a very cool and new kind of features in this latest MIUI 12 update MIUI 12.3 also it includes some little bit of new features other features also like app vault I, I've not enabled the app vault actually but you can use the app vault which has the dark mode support now available I've not applied that but you can simply enable that dark mode option by going to home screen and minus one screen to app vault but i always use the google discover option instead of app vault i don't use app vault at all so that's why also if you go for the home screen and if you do here if you go here you'll see arrange items in recents which is kind of really interesting you'll see this latest new kind of recents panel here which was not present in almost other android and other xiaomi eu builds or mi 12 base builds but now it's available and what is this this is actually the horizontal recents panel which looks great here it's not pre-installed it's actually pre-installed right now which was not pre-installed in previous versions versions of MIUI 12 based rooms if you go to the home screen you will see the option to choose the arrange items in recent so if you love to choose these kind of things you can choose the horizontally or vertically by default it will be at vertically so just go here you will see this vertical these kind of things but if you go here and if you choose the option of choosing the arrange items in recent to horizontal then you will see horizontal recent panel here depends upon the things whichever you like also includes all the features like the floating windows so if you want to choose the floating windows you can choose that one too all depends upon the preferences boys this is kind of really great things available if you go for the things let me show you by going into okay now full screen gestures i thought that that was a bug but it's not actually also includes all the mini 12 features in my case in some devices you will see the new power menu also but honestly this is not the official change in this build because this is a port Rome. If you're using Redmi Note 9s, Note 9 Pro, then you'll be able to use this build. The link for this build for your device is also in the description. And if you're using, if you want to use official build, the link for that one is also in the description. All depends upon preferences. You can use that one too. This was the floating window, which was available here. Weather has the update. Also includes all the features like the Xiaomi Health app is available. You can use the G Cam also. I'm using the TR camera here, which you can use if you want to. The TR camera is working fine in my case in Xiaomi U. 
so if you want to install this tr camera the link for this tr camera as and also the video is also in the description you can go and check it out if you want to nothing else it includes almost same features home screen has the features as i already told you go to theme store you have the option to customize and also it comes with those super wallpapers like this which here which are available here super wallpapers but honestly i will not recommend you at all if we unless or until you're using a flagship device poco devices poco flagship devices or a redmi k30 k20 pro devices just don't use these super wallpapers in budget devices redmi note 8 redmi note 9 and something these like that because that will just lag your device and honestly i'm using redmi note 9 pro i will definitely not choose these super wallpapers it's better to install any third party themes or whatever else you want to do this theme this this build is quite good Great. This is all from today's video. This was about the short review of the latest update, which includes the weather change, home screen changes, some little bit of things available here and there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video, and also don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Thanks for watching and goodbye.